Welcome to the Everleague's Connection platform. Let us show you how to get started. Everleague's has a browser-based web app for any desktop or laptop, as well as a mobile app for any iPhone, Android phone, or tablet. You can be logged in simultaneously on multiple devices, and your content is fully synced across all your devices. Let's start with the Everleague's web application first. To ensure you have the best experience, make sure your web browser is up to date. Everleague's works well with Google Chrome, Firefox, and Microsoft Edge. Go to our website, www.everleagues.com, and log in by typing your username and password. If you don't have an account yet, click Sign Up to create a new account. After logging in, you will see either your personal space or an organization you are a part of. Your personal space is designed for communicating with your friends and family and storing any personal files, such as mortgage or bank statements that you want to keep a copy of. An organization in Everleaks could represent a firm, a company, a non-for-profit organization, a sole proprietorship business, and more. In each organization, you can communicate and collaborate with your coworkers, clients, and other essential business partners. To switch between organizations, click the switch button on the top left of your screen. You will see a list of all the organizations you belong to, as well as your personal space. You have a specific role in each organization you're a part of. You're the owner if you created the organization. Coworkers are usually assigned to employees and may be promoted to admin to access organization settings. Clients are your firm's clients and external contacts, any users your firm may need to collaborate with. In the organization profile on the top left of your screen, you can see your role in the joined as field. In general, you are either an owner, admin, or coworker in the organizations under My Organizations, a client in organizations under My Service Providers, or an external contact under My External Contacts. You can add your contacts to your organization, either as an Everleagues member or as an offline guest. Members have their own Everleagues account and can communicate and collaborate with you within your organization. Guests do not have an Everleagues account, but can join open conference meeting rooms and sign documents when you invite them. To add a user to your organization, click on the shortcut icon and fill in their information and role. Then click Send Invitation. They will be able to join your organization by clicking the invitation link in their email. You can also send an invitation to many people at once by going to Settings, Organization Units, and clicking the Join Request link in the organization unit you'd like them to join. To add an offline guest, Go to Directory, then Connections, then click the plus button to record their contact information. You can see all your contacts here. Members of your organizations have the Everleaks logo next to their profile, while guests do not. After adding your users, you can create teams and assign contacts to them. Teams are great for collaboration among employees or for posting information to different groups of clients. If you are the owner or admin, you can create and manage teams by going to Settings, then Team Setup. Users can post, comment, and attach files in Teams depending on the team settings. To create a new chat room, click Chat on the side navigation bar and then the chat icon. Click any contact to start a one-on-one -on -one chat or select New Group Chat to create a group chat. In addition to messages, files can also be shared within any chat room. Click the attachment icon to send a file. Our file size limit is one gigabyte, 40 times larger than most email attachment limits. Search for a specific message by using the search bar. All files and messages in Everleaks are encrypted at rest and during transmission. In Everleaks, you can create video conferences with up to 30 contacts in any chat room. Everleaks video conferencing is web-based, and there's no need to download any software. You just need a web browser. To start a video conference, select a chat room, click on the video camera icon, and send the message, with a text message if needed, to create a room. If you are invited to a meeting, you can enter the room by clicking on the chat room message or the video camera button on the top of your screen. This will open up a new browser on your computer. If the video page doesn't open, check to see if you have a web page blocker enabled. 
Move your mouse to the bottom of your screen to see your video options. The buttons in the center allow you to turn your mic and video on or off. To enable or disable full screen, select the option from the menu on the lower right portion of the screen. Click the tile icon to toggle between normal and tile view. Click on another user's tile to see their screen. To message in the chat during the video conference, click on the chat button on the top right of the video screen. All messages and files sent before, during, and after the video conference stay inside the same chat room. No need to export chat history after every meeting. To share your screen, click on the icon on the bottom left of your screen. Everleague's video conferencing is secure, so copying the meeting URL will not work. Users must have Everleague's login credentials to use the feature. If you need to meet with guests who are not Everleague's members yet, you can use our open video conference feature. Enter a meeting title and select the start and end time of your meeting. You can select existing contacts and invite new contacts via their emails. You can save meeting guests to your directory as an offline guest by keeping the Save All the Contacts box checked. Click Create Meeting to finish and create the meeting link. A calendar invite will be emailed to all meeting participants. They can join the conference room by simply clicking the invite link in the email. Sign any document electronically with the EverLeague's Easy Sign tool. To send a document, first upload any Word or PDF document to sign. Click Add Signer and Field to add signers and fields. You can add existing EverLeague's members or add guest signers. For each signer, select the field types needed for your document. To add a field to your document, Simply click on the field, and it will appear inside your document. Drag each field to the desired place. Once all fields are in place, finish by clicking Send Request to Sign, and then Send Invite. Signers who are Everleague's members can sign documents on the web app in the Receive Documents tab. Guest signers can sign on the guest portal via email. If you have any questions while using our web app, click Help on the side navigation bar which will redirect you to our knowledge base, where we address common questions. If you cannot find what you're looking for, you can also open a support ticket here, and our support team will get back to you as soon as possible. Now let's talk about how you can use the Everleague's mobile app. You may download the Everleague's mobile app from either the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Our mobile app is designed to be light and simple to use, so many administrative functions are not included. However, you should be able to use our mobile app for many features you need while on the go. After downloading the app, you can log in with your Everleague's credentials or create a new account. After logging in, you will see a button on the top left that takes you to the settings panel. It can be used for changing your password, security settings, language, and more. You can click the firm logo on the top right to switch organizations. On the bottom, you will see five main tabs. The center tab is the Home tab, where you can see important notifications from your organizations. The first tab will take you to Teams, where you can read and create posts, as well as make comments and attach files. Next, we have the Communications tab, where you can send text and voice messages, photos, files, or video conference rooms. There's an option to send a PDF file directly to the chat by using your phone's camera or photo album. Our chat rooms also allow you to star important messages or mark messages to be replied to later. To the right of the Home tab, we have Connections, which can be used for viewing and calling your contacts and also inviting users if you are an admin. Everyone can invite others to join their personal space and also add offline contacts in any organization. Finally, we have the Tool section, which includes a PDF scanner to digitalize paper documents into PDF files, a receipt tracker, and an eSign document signer. We have separate tutorial videos as well as articles in our knowledge base on how to use each of these tools. For more details, visit us at www.everleagues.com or email us at support at everleagues.com.